Yo, that was high and outside. Shag! <laughs> Get your ass, too! You couldn't see the dirt, man! Batter up! Buffy the Umpire Slayer. Just like the wildly popular Buffy the Vampire Slayer, except we've substituted umpires for vampires. I killed three more of them last night. Is it just me, or is anyone else starting to think that this high school is built on the site of an ancient umpire burial ground? I hate it when that happens. I've consulted the prophecies, and they warn us that in tonight's game, we must beware the seventh inning stretch. While they were at it, they might have wanted to warn us about the new biology teacher. Seriously, what is that thing in her nose? Oh my god, totally. Yesterday, I thought it was a mole, but today, it's like in an entirely different place. <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about the potential end of the world. I would appreciate it if we could stay focused. Easy for you to say. You haven't seen her. <laughs> Nonetheless, we have to be ready tonight. Um, do you guys think that just this once you could be ready without me? I've decided umpires are not my kind of people. <laughs> umpires, by definition, are not people. They are creatures of pure evil. A cancer on the face of a national pastime. Mm. I don't mean to sound un-American here, but... Why don't we just stop playing baseball? No baseball players, no umpire food. It's not that simple, Xander. I mean, there were umpires way before there was baseball. Precisely, Buffy. Be a dear, flip the lights. Look at this. As you can see, umpires infest the very fabric of history. They predate Christianity, and it has been theorized that the entire population of Atlantis was, in fact, umpires. Wow. You said it. They only fear three things. Wild pitches, Buffy, and Roberto Alomar. Precisely. <laughs> <laughs> It's a whole new ball game on Buffy the Umpire Slayer. Let's play ball. Catch it on the WB.